Start warm up. Of time. Well, welcome back for the fourth match of the day. Quarterfinal stages here in Mauritius, up on court. From England, number eight seed, Julianne Cortis takes on the number two seed from France, Melissa Alves. Should be a very exciting matchup between these two ladies. Julianne Cortis was really troubled with the COVID virus a couple of years ago, suffered quite badly. She was around about, 20, about 28 in the world at the time when she came down with that uh, nasty issue but has bounced back quite brilliantly, feeling much better physically. And there you see she's been as high as 28 in the world, 30 years of age, turned pro just over 12 years ago. And she's collected four titles from 12, sorry, four titles from 12 finals. So a good conversion rate for her. She's based up in Manchester. Quite an experienced campaigner, Julian. This will be her first match on the glass court. The transition across has been a little bit problematic for a lot of the players. It's those that tend to deal with it, the better that uh, are coming through. And there we see Melissa Alves, 28 years of age, also suffered a very nasty plantar fascia issue, which uh, we're great uh, and happy to see her back on court. Up close to her best. She has been as high as 19 in the world. Also turned pro back in 2010. Ten finals and seven titles Time. in her career so far. Very strong, very powerful, typical French mover. But this will be a real interesting clash between these two ladies. And joining me once again back in the chair by public demand, Georgia Adderley. Welcome back, Georgia. Thank you. Such a short break. And uh, how was your maiden voyage with Mr. Barrington? You enjoy yeah, yourself? Yeah, it was enjoyable. I you enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Uh, good. Yeah, good, good quality squash, and uh, yeah, just getting used to the microphone. It's a <laughs> new experience, but <laughs> enjoyable. Well, it's uh, should be an interesting uh, match up between these two ladies. Never actually played each other on the PSA World Tour. Georgia, they will so start in 30 seconds. Bit of an unknown quantity. Yeah, they'll, I'm sure they both will have done their done their research, watched their matches back from yesterday, and uh, 
will be going in on how each other plays, but it's certainly going to be interesting on the glass court. It's seconds. so different from the from the hard back, and um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who adjusts better. Sure. RM Club Women's Open 2022. I think this, this could be a good match up though, you know, Julianne's match, playing Julian well and Melissa England back, back playing again and um, France, yeah, as you said, they've not played each other so it could be a, a well, it's always a game of chess but an even bigger game of chess than normal. Yeah, I think the start will be crucial. I think they're a bit of kind of throwing the ball into a few areas just to test out the technique and certain areas that they may look to expose. Pretty early on but it's the age-old saying that length and width is just paramount on this kind of glass court. You can get away with a lot more on the traditional courts, but here, anything slightly inaccurate, yep. it, it's, it just gets punished. Yeah, definitely. One to be honest no. with you, the, the traditional court that we've played on in, in this event, it definitely, if you don't get that width and, and it clips the side wall too early, it, it really comes out. So they both, both are probably aware of that, but the width no. is just... If, it, if you get it tight enough, and it just glues. We saw that Julianne winning the first point on just a tight shot, tight which shot, is yep. the way to win points, really. Staying nice and short, that drop and shot as well. Down. A powerful and movement out, out the front of the court, well wasn't it? She was back on the tee yeah, she looks within strong. a second. Yeah, she seems to, to have her movement back here. Alves, which is always a good sign. It's something we kind of associate with a lot of the players from France, both in the men's and the women's game. Very open stance, both feet, shoulders and hips facing the front wall, but they, their ability to twist and turn. The lateral movement through the middle of the court is very strong and dynamic and powerful. There you see it in display. Again, it's just Free two. inaccurate hitting from Cortese there. Got to find those extreme corners. No let. I think she had space ball. to hit that. Yeah, it's good to see. I agree. Totally, yeah. Three and out, free all. Perfect. Perfect weight of shot. Tight. Second bounce in the back wall, Nick. 4-3. Again, just exaggerates the importance of that strength of basic game. You've got now. to get that accuracy. 5-3. It's a good start here for Cortes. She's hitting a very good line. She's she's not taking the ball cross court too much. She's, she's keeping it nice and straight and not giving Alves anything. Well, I mean, we saw at the beginning she was giving it a bit too much in the middle, but these last few rallies she's been so disciplined in her length hitting, and it's just got her a lot of good opportunities. Down. Saw that shot played Six, quite a lot three. in the previous match, didn't we? That the yeah. trickle boast in that front left hand corner. Yeah, Killeen, Killeen played it so well, you know, she got her body right around it and showed the drop in the straight and then just popped it round, which was a, hit a lot of winners. Powerful, strong hitting again through the middle of the court. Cortese under a lot of pressure here. Back in though, isn't it? Isn't she? She's she's lifted well and she's back in the rally. Melissa just hits down on the ball so well when she gets the opportunity to. That's absolutely brilliant from Cortese. You have to say Seven that Alves three. was in control for the most part, but as you said, Georgia, just lifting herself out of trouble and then counter punching. Four point cushion in the first. Seven three. Yes, let. Seven free. <laughs> She's certainly up getting the rub of the green, isn't she? Yeah, that was a uh, lady, a bit fortuitous there. She's done well, though, Melissa. She's right back in this rally. 
Beautiful touch. What a rally. Oh, oh. almost on the turn. Eight, three. Terrific rally, both players back and forth, taking charge of that one, but in the end, that cross court back across the volley of Alves, it's just enough. It's a gift. It's a poor cross court, wasn't it? Got away with one yeah, there, really. Three. Yeah, definitely. Almost thought maybe the straight option was on, but I don't think she was quite round enough to play it. It's a tight, it's a tight shot. The width is just so important here. You, you just you get that ball go, Down. go into the side <laughs> wall. Then three. Can't do anything Game with ball. it. Seven game balls. I think this is around eight points on the bounce for Cortese. Yeah, she was three two down, wasn't yep. she? Yeah. So brilliant second half of this first game. She's Crucial played first game. She's played some very smart squash here. She's given herself a lot of Out. margin and she's she's hit. Eleven her three game to Cortes. Really, really Cortes leads one game to low. Fantastic first game for Cortes of England. Pretty sure, short on the duration front, but it's Cortese, the number eight seed, upsetting the apple cart here, taking the first game against Alves of France. And the English lady leads by one game to love. The game started off with uh, Julianne not quite finding finding her length quality, and um, Alves really took advantage of that, taking the ball in short really well, but Cortese just found some really, really high quality length. She started taking the ball in short with margin, being really patient in, in her rallies. And yeah, she played some fantastic squash there. Melissa's gonna have to gonna have to dig deep to get back into this match because Curtis has got a lot of confidence going into the second game here. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Cortis leads one game to love. Love all. So Julianne Cortese of England leading by one game to love here against the number two seed from France, Melissa Alves. Interesting here, Georgia, to see the experience of Alves and how she'll try and change her game plan now. to respond to and the out. first game from Cortese. Yeah, yeah, one definitely. Low. I think she's... The one thing that was kind of missing there is she wasn't quite matching Cortese for length quality, and um, she therefore wasn't wasn't getting her opportunities to take it in short, um, which is what she she does really well. She's she's so good on that out. volley. Um, she just clipped off the tin there, but she's and out. in a great position to play that one shot. She's, she's so aggressive on the volley and makes it really hard for her opponent. So that's what she's got to go and try and try and do. Shoot. It's a poor shot by Alves, really. Two got one. what it deserved. The attempted trickle post. Cortese had read it, left such a gap on the left-hand side of the court. It seems to be the English lady that's adjusted her game accordingly. The better of the two players so far. She's 
just not overcomplicating it, is Trump issue. She's just coffees. playing really simple squash, but it's just so, so effective here. Yeah, I think uh, you said it in the first game. It, it, what Cortese has done better than Alves, Georgia, is she's keeping the ball straighter and tighter. She's not allowing Alves too many angles to play with. Down. And as soon as she does, she just left the ball in the service box there. And out. Alves put it free. away perfectly, yeah. you know, s great line taking it in short. She's just got to make sure she doesn't do that. She wants to win this match, and Alves needs to get as many of those opportunities as she can if she wants to win this match. Out. Out. And out for two. Oh, that's heavy. That's a very heavy hit from Cortez. Five two. Generating a lot of power out of that bait deep left sorry, deep left hand corner. She had really early prep there as well. It was pretty hard to read. Could have been could have been anything really. Very good again from Cortez. Six, two. Just putting the ball in such good areas, shot after shot after shot. Interference there. She's played through it though, Elvez. She did Great well to though, see. Didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Bit of short, inaccurate hitting from both players there, oh, but it Cortese in the end. Seven, two. Punishing the slightly poor attempted forehand drop from the number two seed. I feel like um, Alves is so good in that area, and the best ones that she's hit are when they're just running into the running into the side wall, not hitting the side and wall. Out. It on this court, whenever it's hitting the side wall first, it's just sitting up and you're able to get onto it quickly. But if you're running it in and it stays tight, you just you can't do anything with it. Three seven. It just absolutely glues. It yep. Absolutely glues. Takes a shot for sure. Needs to respond here, Alves. Clever shot that. Four seven. Exactly what you're talking about, running into the sidewalk. She can hear me. <laughs> High margin there as well, you know, there was no chance that was hitting the tin. It was just in a really good area. She's quick, isn't she? Extremely powerful. Saw that turn of pace there from Alves. Better though, from the French lady. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. Can't do out. anything with that, can you? No. And out. The long drop from the back left hand corner glued to that side wall. It's just such a, as you said, low reward, sorry, low risk, high reward shot to play. She's played it brilliantly. Obviously your first time down here, Georgia. But it's fantastic that we've now got the ladies' event and the men's event running simultaneously at this, at this venue. How's it been received by the women in the, the draw? The event in general? In general? Yeah, yeah, the event in general, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's um, it's obviously it's a 30K rather than a, than a gold, but it's really nice to be be around around the players. Um, I certainly find that it's, it's exciting. It's... Um, Good, you know, there's good quality squash on. It's nice to be run alongside a men's event men's because, event as well, yeah. yeah, there's there's more matches to watch. There's more players around. There's more more of a buzz in general with more people around. Sure. Um, it's not so a bad yeah. place to be either, is it? Oh, it's just <laughs> glorious. 
I was out, out on the water this morning in a pedal old boat. It's just uh, <laughs> the luxury, is it? Oh dear, your friends will be absolutely seething. <laughs> but the service and the uh, reception and welcome we've had here in Mauritius has been straight out of the top draw. Yeah, just a lovely club as well. Great to have such a good court as well. Not seen many reviews, have we? I think I think that probably was a stroke, but no one's really reviewing. No, it's been been played in a very good manner, and fair order. Can't say the same Ten about some of the men's ball. matches, unfortunately. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> more controversial. Oh dear. But uh, six game balls for a two love lead, a massive two love lead as well for Cortese. It's weathered a little bit of a storm in the mid stage of this. Uh, second Down. game but in, at the moment it's just the English lady that's continually Cortes. finding Cortes to hit her targets and reaping the rewards <laughs> 16 minutes on the clock now the number eight seed from England now leading Melissa Alves of France by two games to love Curtis started where she left off on the end of that first game into the second. She played a fantastic game of squash there. She was she was played with high high levels of margin and she didn't make any mistakes at all. Her length quality was perfect. She was yeah, she just Melissa wasn't really able to take the ball in because she wasn't given any opportunities to. It'll be interesting to see if she changes any, anything coming into this third game, but Curtis just needs to keep going with the high length quality and she's She's playing a fantastic game of squash here. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Cortis leads to games to love. Love all. So Julian Cortis, two love lead. Relatively new experience for her, so a wonderful opportunity to get through to the semi-final. She's been faultless through the first two games. Yes, Led. Is it more of a, a case of just the same, Georgia, to see this one through? Yeah, I think she's, I mean, I think this is the best I've ever seen her play, certainly in yeah. the past year or so. You know, she's hitting with such quality into the back of the court. And as I've said in the kind of first couple of games, the margin that she's playing with is, is, is very, very good. I think, yeah, if, if I was her, I'd stick with it. I think it's so hard when you get a two-love two lead to yep. try and close it out. Um, because you're so, so yeah. close mentally, it's trying to keep yourself this side of the finish line and not get yeah. too carried away. It's, and it's also, I mean, Alves isn't going to go away. You know, she's she's not going to give up without a fight. She's going to dig really, really deep all. to try and get back in this match. So... These kind of victories are never easy. There will be a few challenges presented along the way, I'm sure. And out, 2-1. Just cannot leave the ball there.
Out. Three one. It's a brighter start to this third game from the number two seed. Yeah, she looks like she's hitting with a bit more purpose. It looks like she's kind of knows a bit more where she wants to hit the ball. Um, she's putting it in good areas. Yeah, she's turned up the pace a bit as well with a, a movement and a hitting. Now. The one thing with playing players like that is um, if your core is out. trying not to do that as well and <laughs> continue, yeah, yeah. continue to <laughs> yeah. play at your, your own game and uh, play at the pace that you want to play at. And um, yeah, it, it is hard. Unlucky yes, there. Yes, Oh, flat ball. She was unlucky there to clip that, clip that neck, though. Yeah. Um, Just popped into the middle. Can you review yeah. Alves on the yes, let decision? Mm. It's a strange review for me. I think it's just more of a, just a, a safety let ball, really. But uh, we'll take a look at this one. Kind of adjusts her body out of the way. It's a bit close to her body to hit the ball. And Cortese being in the swing. Does catch a racket though. Ball's very close to the legs of Alves here. Yeah. Not quite sure how she could play that personally, but. Uh, Stroke to Alves. The ref this agrees with you. Alves has one review remaining. And now. Wise choice. 4 2. From Alves to appeal. Is that the first review we've seen? Uh, in the women's event so far then? I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> and it's a positive review. <laughs> it's made history. Oh. Not too dissimilar to the last one there. Well, she's starting to rush Cortese here, Alves. It's quite apparent to see the tactic from the number two seed. Yeah, I think she was trying to do it in the first two games, just the quality wasn't quite there, but she seems to have found her Oh, that's beautiful. Line and length a bit more, but that is, you can't and do much about that, can you? 3 4. Just waited and waited and waited until that ball was low, and then it just had nothing in it. Out. It's a good length there. Yeah, the accuracy was and out. matched with pace. Five, three. She's starting to show her class here now, Alves. She's so strong in those front corners. She's just in and out really quickly. And balanced. Yeah. Down. Six free. Frustrated with herself there though, Alves leaving the ball in the middle of the court. She got away with that one. Down. Cool. What's changed then, do you think? Seven, three. I think the fact that the pace has gone up from Alves, not just with the hitting, but with her movement. She's taken a bit of time away from Cortese, and we saw it there. Cortese herself now is exactly she's making the mistake that you said she shouldn't try and do, and rushing. She's being rushed by the pace, and it's kind of thrown her out of kilter. Yeah. She needs to, for me, Cortese, get back to a bit of height hitting, slowing the pace down, straighter, tighter, and not get drawn into this heavy hitting, fast pace of game. This really favours Alves. Yes, let. Yeah, the first two games she was, um, yes, Seven, three. her length quality was just, the line was so good. Um, I feel like, yeah, as you said, she's just hitting with a bit more right. pace than she was in the first two, so losing the length a little bit. Mm -hmm. The line's still there, but the length is just um, its a little bit more short. Just the lift is so good on this court, though. If you fire it up and it's in the light. Shock to Cortis. Can't see a thing. I think it's one of the most underutilized shots. And out for seven. Yeah. Georgia, when played properly, you can turn a, a defensive situation into an attacking one. 
and as you said, the light, you can't see them from this angle, but the lights are so bright up there, you chuck the white ball up into that area and you do actually see a lot of mistimed and inaccurate returns. Yeah. This is this is better. This is better from Cortez. Five, She's just seven. found her length a little bit more and is taking that ball in as we were talking about with margin and she's getting more opportunities here. Not up. Thank you. And out it five. Well it's called down yep. by the referee initially. Cortez seemed a little bit unsure. It's hard to tell. Oof. Looks tight, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks close, that one. I would have appealed that one personally. Quite a shout. Steps up and volleyed. She's now volleying a bit more Cortese as well. Yep. Um, I feel like she wasn't really doing that. She's just no. so, so good there. The way that she cuts the ball in Nine short is, five. is so good. Can I bet you can hear those str strings. strings singing. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the saying, isn't it? Apparently, yep. I could never do it, so. No, me neither. I break <laughs> about a string every month and it's some clip in the sidewall. Out. And out, 6-9. Just gone a little bit short and a bit too loose, Cortez. That's been the difference for me in this game. And out, 10-6, game ball. Balls started to soften up as we get to the late stage of this third game. Four game balls for Alves to close the deficit to 2-1. Out. There it is. Six, done it. Game to Alves. Cortis leads to game to one. So the change of plan from Alves has certainly paid off. 27 minutes now on the clock. Number two seed drawing back to a one game deficit. She still trails though by two games to one. Alves started strong in this game, getting a big 7-2 seven, seven lead, I think. Cortese just lost her line and length a little bit with um, Alves really increasing the pace. She was um, playing at pace, but with, with accuracy as well, which just put Cortese under a lot more pressure. Cortese got back into it from about 7-2 to 7-4 or so, but Alves finished strongly, hitting some fantastic short shots into the front of the court, taking advantage of any opportunities she was given. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Cortis leads to game two one. Salves to serve. Love all. Melissa Alves, number two seed, taking that third. And she continued that kind of pace that seemed to un upset the rhythm 
of Gillian Cortese. Down. It's going to be an interesting one this one fourth low. game because they've both played really well in patches. It's just a case of who can who can play well right now and who can hit the who can hit the better length and who can be more in control of the pace. I think. I agree entirely. I think both game plans seem to work for each player. It's there was a bit of a drop off. Was that the fact and that Cortez dropped off because of the pace that one low. Alves one had injected? One low, and it's you feel it would be in the hands of Cortez really if she can get that game plan back again. It was certainly working for her. Definitely not hitting with as much pace in this game straight away. Cortese, she's definitely slowed herself down a little bit. Two yeah, one. She's trying. But again, here's the inaccurate shot through the middle of the court. She's so strong through the middle. Alves. Oh, she was really pushing up there. Cortes almost in the swing of Alves. She's Three seen one. the space well at the start of this fourth game, Alves. She she knows exactly where her opponent is there and just takes her time with it. to Cortis and out to free. What do you think of the boast on this glass court then? Uh, I feel it is an absolutely crucial shot to play at the right time. I think it's such a rewarding shot if, you've, if you can get your racket to come across the ball enough and really get the angle to, to get that two, bo two wall boast working, it's extremely effective. However, if you do get any kind of height underneath the ball, if it sits up, you're just you're inviting on the and pressure. Out. Yeah, definitely. They've got the whole, whole court to play with then, yeah. haven't they? It, it takes a court. You can see that here. Although the conditions inside the court are very warm and surrounding areas, it's quite humid. The actual playability of the court is very dead, which is terrific for all the shot players. So it and just exaggerates all Three aspects four. of the game for me. Yeah, it's a true court, isn't it? Yep. Tight start to this game. It's good pressure here from no. Alves. Just enough hold. Nothing wrong with the pickups there. And out, five free. Just a bit annoyed with something. But again, it's just a bit of a drop off in length for me from the English lady. Not quite getting that second bounce dying off, is it? It's setting up a little bit or it's clipping the side wall. Yes, lad. You see where the balls are bouncing from Cortese. It's generally roundabout service area. Five free. Service box area, sorry. And you look at Alves, it's generally towards the back of the service box. That's a little bit better. And she's forcing Cortese a bit deeper into the back of the court, therefore exposing the front. Yeah, more space to hit into then, isn't there? Yep. Some lovely left there. She's just giving herself so much time by using that, that lob there. It's interesting about um, what you're saying about where the ball's landing because on the hard back court, basically to get a good length, <laughs> you, it's got to be in the middle of the middle service, service box. box <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a complete ad adjustment yeah, that needs to be made. Yeah, completely, yeah. That was a lovely little flick there from Cortese. She pl she's played that well, actually, all game. She's, Four five. she's not clipped the side wall and she just managed to get the second bounce. It wasn't quite running in, but it's just dying off completely. It's a good angle, isn't it? Really it good kind angle. It upsets the movement pattern into that area. Yes, let. 
think I'll be five. reviewing this one as well. It's not a great shot. Player not review, Alves, on the yes led. That decision. much movement off of the ball from Cortes. Coach service, please. Sweat does just stay on top of this court, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a nightmare, yeah. yeah. yeah just to make sure these conditions are perfect. I had a go at the court cleaning earlier, and it's <laughs> hard work. It's hard work. you got to really, like... Get, get in get there. You gotta yeah, you got to get gotta your get arms in right into it, honestly. Yeah. What do you think, then? Not sure how she's supposed to play that, really. I mean, if she does hit that, I think she's going to hit her. Yes, let decision upheld. Alves has no reviews remaining. Four, five. Maybe it deemed there was space to play there. I'm not sure where that space was, though, personally. I think she's been a bit hard done by there, Melissa Alves. But she's got to get her head back on the job in hand. 5-4 up. Oh, that's walloped. That was down. Was it down? Oh, no. This was hit very hard. Oh, no. It's a lovely shot. Second bounce right in the neck. Stroke to Alves. 7-4. The tempo that Alves is injected in games three and four is definitely taken Cortese out of her rhythm. Yeah, she's not played any of those those drops from the back where she was having great success in the first two. Um, down to the ball, not ever really sitting up off the back wall now. Down. That's the continued pressure of the movement of Alves. Eight she's four. covering the court much better now. And there, that bit of tentative kind of stress in the arm just creating an error and a four point lead now for the number two C. She's done very well to get back into this. Down. She always had too much time there, didn't she? And out. That's again, that's another Five feature of eight. these glass courts. You do have to generate so much more power through the ball if you're going to get that boast working across. Yeah. Definitely. There it is, that was it. Running in really tight. She's got the opportunity here. She plays that well, it. yep. And Again, it was a bit of a feed, though, through the middle of the court. And Cortese, watch where this lands. Comfortable area, really. She hits down on the ball on that backhand so well. Her racket's really high, and then she's able to go and attack from the middle of the court, especially. Five game Ten balls five. Game ball. for Melissa Alves to draw back to level Peggins at two games all here. Gets one back quickly, nice and, and quick go for a turn of serve. Good from Alves. Very good from Alves. 11 6, game to Alves to game all. Just under 40 minutes now on the clock. Alves, the number two seed from France, has drawn back to two games apiece here against the number eight seed from England, Julian Cortis. And we're going into fifth game here in this finals, final ladies quarterfinal. It was a really tight start to the game with both of them trading winners. But towards the end, Alves just took control of the pace again. She was really powerful in her hitting, hitting shots just like that. And yeah, she took it 11-6 in the end quite comfortably. So into a fifth game. Here we go.
Play will resume in 60 seconds. They will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Two games all. Alves to serve. Love all. So fifth and final game coming up. Melissa Alves with serve. So Georgia, who are you going to put all your Mauritian rupees on? For this one, I, I, I honestly don't know. I'll go whoever you don't say. All right, I'm going to go with I'll Alves. Okay, well, I'll go Cortez then. All right then. One low. It's on. I mean, it's cheating, but I actually <laughs> think whoever whoever sticks to their plan is is going to win. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Whoever can. And it's um, these early points are really important for that, you know, saying that, like, nah, this is my my game to win. You're bang on right. What about who sets their stall out early on? That was the saying I was looking for. I just couldn't find it. Too low. I just feel that the the pace that keep saying it, said like a broken record, that the pace that she's playing at now is, is rushing Cortez out of her rhythm so much that she can't continually hit accurately. Stroke to Alves. That's a bit lucky there. I would be looking to review that one. I don't think that was... Free low. Left box. She, right? she looks like she's got hand cramp there almost. Yeah. Something went, yeah. Yeah, she's certainly shaking the hand out. Stroke to Alves. Well, it's all come undone for Cortese here in this Follow. fifth. Trying to get herself G'd up. It looks like the ball's really changed in the first two games as well. It has. Oh, that's Down. a bad shot. I thought that was lovely there. Down. Down. Oh, down. Oh. The ball was down. You can just see it from this angle here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stops, doesn't it? Oh, change the racket. Okay. Video referee, please. So we are actually going to take another look. We can't check it. It was down. Five low. Left box. I mean, it's a perfect start here by Alvas, isn't it? You can't ask for much yeah. better than that. Right. I remember. I remember when I was a kid. My um, whenever I was Left playing, box. my dad used to. He never used to give me too much technical advice. He'd just say, "Right, Georgia, first five, first five. And uh, she's, she's, she's done that she's so done far. Exactly that. So it's not bad advice, that one. Yeah, it was good, apart from when I lost the first point. I'd look at him <laughs> and be like, oh, now what do I do? come on. Now what do I do, Dad? <laughs> it's brilliant. 
because of the length that she set up initially, pushed Cortese back into this deep left-hand corner low. there. She then gets that opportunity to step forward and hunt the volley down. A lot of the stuff in the front of the courts that we're seeing from Alves is off of the back of a better length. That's what she's done a good job of turning around for me. Yeah, she was almost in the first two games, she was kind of looking to go in short a bit too early rather than building the rally, like you're saying. Um, Yes, lit. Six low. Just clipped her there. Oh, that is phenomenal. That was such a good shot by Cortis, but I was just. Seven low. Matched it with a phenomenal three wall boast. Look at that. Oh. That's demoralising as a player when you know you've hit a decent length, putting under pressure, got no alternative that than to hit the boast. And then it ends up rolling out. I don't know what's worse, that one, or when you glue one to the sidewall and they <laughs> scrape it off and it's just unreturnable. I mean, Alves has taken the ball in short low. so well here. I think this result should she come through, will give Alves so much confidence. No I agree. No let. Oh my goodness. Why has she not reviewed this? I'll definitely and out be going one for hit. a review. Yeah, she's done so well, I mean, tactically to turn it around. I mean, it takes a lot, doesn't it? A lot of mental strength to come back and from 2-0 down and Squash wise, Nine she's one. playing some phenomenal stuff now. And she's uh, found her rhythm and found her short game and her length. It's all kind of come together. Come together it? for exactly right. Look at yeah. that for a roll drop. Also, she's this is going to be maybe 45, 46 minutes on court. The court time will obviously really aid her cause to get used to the the playability of this glass court. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the winner here plays Farida Mohammed, who had what was it, 18 minutes on court. Yeah, it's around that, yeah, 20 minutes or something, 19 minutes, I think it was. Be a very different matchup. Definitely. There's the one there you is. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well way to win. Match 12 best, three on. games to two. What a three wonderful 11, turnaround 11, from 11, the number two seed 11, from France. 11, 11, She'll be delighted with how she's managed to come through that after a very shaky start. Full credit to. The English lady, Julianne Cortese, would be bitterly disappointed, but full credit to Melissa Alves. Three games to two, 48 minutes. She makes her place in the semi-finals here in Mauritius. Melissa, we're going to do it maybe in English, so you, you will understand my English. Uh, Melissa, what a comeback, because really, Julian seems to control the game completely and finish on the third. And and one moment, I don't know what's happened. So I'll please explain us what's happened and you finish so well. Well, she was she was just playing better than me the first two games. That's it. She was uh, finding her lens better. She was having her marks on the court a lot more than me. She could find her shots easily. Uh, I just had to fight. You know, I had a little crowd of friends over there and like the crowd obviously here. Uh, so it helps to, uh, to try to come back. And I think I played better in the last three games. I fought more, uh, hit the ball harder, better. And then just, I just really wanted to win today. So uh, I don't think there's one thing that happened. Just uh, I wanted it. Yeah, good. And it, it, it was a problem between the art court and, and to, to, to find a little bit your place in a, in a glass court or? Yeah, for sure. But it's the same for both players. You know, she played on hard court yesterday, so. We both had to adjust. Eventually, uh, squash players, we want to play on glass, right? That's where we play the, the big events, the big matches. So uh, it's better to uh, you know, find your game on the, on the glass court, because that's where you want to play. So um, it's, a little, it's a little adjustment, but uh, it was, that's what we need to do as squash players. OK, it was good to see you on the, for the quarterfinal here on the glass court. Thank you very much. Pardon? So semi-final, no, on the quarterfinal today. It was not, normally it should be on the hard court. So now you are welcome tomorrow for the semi-final. Yeah? I just want to say um, 
we saw Colleen play her last uh, last match today, and we had some great memories together. Um, so I just wanted to wish her good luck for the rest of her career, and uh, well, that's it. Good luck in Mauritius. Thank you very much. Thanks, Melissa. Alves with a fantastic comeback there, 2-0 down. Curtis playing some, some of the best squash I've ever seen her play, but Alves really found, found her rhythm by the end. She was taking the ball in short so well, hitting winners, hitting lots of boasts and lots of short shots. And uh, yeah, she's looking also very hard to beat on that court. So semi-final tomorrow against Farida Mohamed. It's going to be an interesting one. Well, this is how the draw sets up for tomorrow's semi-finals. Gillis, in good form, takes on Vayar, who had a uh, walkover against Lisa Aitken of Scotland, unfortunately. And then Farida Mohamed looked in very good form, cruising her way through to the semi-finals, but she'll be up against it tomorrow. As the number two seed, as we just saw there, Melissa Alves, finding some very good form, confident and solid in the last three games to book her place into the semi-finals. And that will be taking place tomorrow afternoon here in Mauritius. And that's the afternoon out of commission. We still have the men's draw to work our way through this evening. We're just hiding it behind the dim lights of the squash court here in Mauritius. And here we have it. And what a lineup we've got. Mazen Hisham, the number six seed, takes on Diego Elias of Peru. That, for me, will be the pick of the day. Gregor Marsh, number seven seed, local favourite here, taking on Mohamed El Shabagi, the number two seed from England. And then Paul Cole, the number one seed from New Zealand, takes on Mazotti of France. And then an all-Egyptian affair to bring the play to a close. Tarek Momin, the number four seed, takes on his old compatriot, Omar Mossad. So it will be quarterfinal stages in the men's draw taking place at 5.30 local time here in Mauritius, which is about an hour and a half's time. So we'll see you then.